Hello everyone, this is um, Oyimbo John and welcome to the 14th lecture of this HISIS training and today we are going to be working on process optimization so okay, in this lecture a simple distillation column to separate THF from toluene is simulated the objective of the exercise is to select the product specification such that the profit is maximized okay then also a tool a special tool in high is the optimizer will be used to find the optimum op operating conditions now high includes additional modeling and decision support tools that can be used to enhance the usability of the models now in this particular lecture you will use the high optimization tool available in high to investigate the bottlenecking and optimization of a crude column Now, learning outcome is to use the optimizer tool in HISIS to optimize flow sheets and also use the spreadsheet to form to perform calculations rather than the prerequisites to navigate the PFD add streams, use workbook and add and connect unit operations. Now here is the problem statement. 3700 kilogram per hour mixture of tetrahydrofuran and toluene 44 mass percent THF at 10 degrees Celsius and 140 kilopascals is to be separated by distillation to get each of them its purity of 99.5 mass percent of THF and 94 mass percent of toluene. THF is a more volatile component then we should use the Wilson fluid package Okay, these are some data. The column specification are the condenser pressure is 103 kilopascals, the reboiler pressure is 107 kilopascals, then the consider the condenser rather works on total condensation conditions, 10 number of um, stages. The feed enters at the fifth straight um, tray. Now calculate the reflux ratio and distillate rate under specified conditions so let's go to HISIS start a new case the component is let's add our two components Tetrahydrofuran THF then toluene. Then fluid package we actually used Wilson. Okay, Wilson it is so we can come to our simulation environment. Then we can create our feed stream. Feed stream, the composition should edit here, then change it to mass fraction since we are giving the mass percentage. Mass percentage for um, THF for 0 0.44, that's what for mass percent means toluene will be 0 0.56 okay then we can come to the conditions we're giving 10 degrees centigrade and 140 kilopascals now the flow rate was also given to be 3700 kilogram per hour okay that's that the feed stream has been fully specified then we we'll need a distillation unit which is this here okay, let's call this distillation unit ok 
okay we can call this condenser q so con the condenser type is total um, number of stages then inlet is fifth tray you can call this reboiler q bottom liquid should be solving okay, which of them is more volatile let's go back to our slide okay from our slide we know that thf is more is the more volatile component so here should be thf then the bottom product should be taurine. Next, the regular high seas reboiler. The condenser pressure was given to be 103, while the reboiler pressure was given to be 107. rest are optional so that's that we are done we we'll come to our monitor don't want to use them as active if you remember from the problem statement from the problem statement these are the um, specifications we are going to be using the purity of THF should be 99.5 mass percent, while that of um, toluene should be 94 mass percent. So let's go back to the add spec. Component fraction. Add the condenser. Should let's call this T. HF purity at the condenser which is the top stage is in mass fraction spec value should be 99.5 that's 0 0.995 the component should be this That is that. Let's add for toluene purity. Now, let's call this toluene purity. Now, the stage would be the boiler mass fraction, and the spec value will be ninety four percent. That is zero point nine four. The components. To Louis. So that's that we can run. Converged. So we are done with the simulation proper. What we ought to do now is to optimize. So let's go back to our problem statements. We are done with this part. Also, we are done is calculate the reflux ratio and distillate rate. You can get that from the distillation column monitor. This is the current reflux ratio, and this is the distillate rate. So, let's go back to our slide now. For the optimization, this is the data we are going to be using. The feed price is that the pure toluene price um, the pure THF selling price the cooling cost heating cost now the formula for the profit which is the total selling price minus the total cost price which is price of selling um, toluene and THF produced minus the feed cost plus the heating and cooling cost now we should use this range for both our THF and um, Toluene. So let's go back and do the optimization. Okay, you can come home here, then optimize.
optimizer click on variables then we can get our spreadsheet from here spreadsheet so let's type in some things cool condenser beauty boiler duty overhead products production rates THF purity the bottom production rate Zoloing purity then the feed flow rate just want to so I can see everything then on this column we have the cooling cost the heating cost the pure THF price to learn price we have the feed cost then the profit okay as that let's save out we've not even saved so let's save this as lecture 14 and let's close the spreadsheet for now variables let's add variables distillation unit um, Distillation unit, the spec value. Let's add THF purity. We also do the same thing for toluene purity. So we're giving a range of for THF, we have 0 0.99 to 0 0.999 for toluene we have 0 0.9 to 0 0.99 now um, we can go back to our spreadsheet the condenser duty let's import a variable from the Condenser the power. Same thing with the reboiler. The overhead production rate. Overhead production rate should be overhead production rate as the THF mass flow mass flow the THF purity. For mass 
Universal Composition Mass Fraction CHF the bottom product rate production rate import as the toluene mass flow as the mass flow okay toluene import looking for the master composition mass fraction following okay then the feed flow feed flow rate import should be the feed stream the mass flow okay that's that for now then the cooling cost from the problem statement Cooling cost is 0 0.471. Heating cost is 0 0.737. The selling price of THF is 0 0.136. The selling price for toluene is okay. Toluene is 0 0.136. THF is 0. 0.333. Now the feed cost is 0 0.05 dollars per kg. Now the profit will be the total selling price minus total um, cost price. So we can use this doesn't matter since we are not working to any angle, but. is equal to first and foremost one to the selling price for toluene would be the total money from toluene would be this selling price multiplied by the purity multiplied by the production rate so the selling price will be um, let's do for THF that will now be D4 D4 multiplied by B4 multiplied by B3 B3 plus the same thing for toluene which is D6 D6 multiplied by B6 multiplied by um b5 b5 i hope you know where i'm getting this from these are just the um cell cell names this is d7 for example this is d6 i hope you are we all understand now this is the total selling cost selling price the total money made minus the cost the cost for feed for the feed would be um, D7 D7 multiplied by the flow rate which is B7 plus the cooling cost which would be D1 multiplied by B1 D1 multiplied by B1 plus D2 multiplied by B2 that's the heating cost D2 multiplies by B2 okay I think I clicked on power by mistake Let's say unit less. Okay. So we are done with that.
this is from the connection now we can close the spreadsheet function the cell which what we want to maximize exists is this which is the d8 so we can close this then we'll come here cell and click on d8 in case you want to minimize for example you click minimize but since we want to maximize profit we do maximize then we start so once you start the maximum profit is you can get is 65.64 dollars so this is the spreadsheet here which you can just come over and check anytime so when you click on the column then come to monitor you would see that this has changed the purity has changed of thf 0 0.99 then of tolin is this so this is at op um, optimum conditions where you can get maximum profit the, refl the reflux ratio has been recalculated to this and the distillate rate has been recalculated to this so i think that will be all for this lecture that will be all for this lecture we concluded the problem statement so i really hope you learned a lot and please remember to practice also this will be the last lecture for now in this series i'm going to open a new playlist where we are going to talk about we are going to be simulating stuffs on oil and gas operations generally a new playlist will be created for that so in case i decide to add any lecture to this um any lecture to this playlist of course you'll be updated if you are subscribed also watch out for the oil and gas operations in isis thank you very much do well to give this video a thumbs up if you learned and also please subscribe thank you very much